been off all week with uh, COVID, so if my voice sounds a little bit funny, I apologize, but I thought I would come on. Um, I actually have a big issue with journaling cards, and when I handwrite, I always struggle to write straight, so I thought I would try to use up some white scraps and make some just list-style journaling cards, which is what I've done. And in order to write straight on the line, I thought, why not just emboss and then flip it over and then you've got a clear visual line. So I made a bunch of cards and they're just at different points, just kind of, I guess, depending more on how much I have to say about something. And then for most of these... I just used some white cardstock and some multicolored cardstock. And then a few of them, I used some pattern paper. Well, basically one. And this one is kind of how I got started. I really like the look of this card. These lines are way too small to journal on, but I thought it's a good filler card or I could put a picture. And then this one. So I'll show you kind of how I did it. All you need is a scoreboard, whatever scoring thing you use, and some white cardstock and a couple of stamps, and maybe some hole punches or some small little embellishment stickers or something, and off you go. So this one is a 3 by 4 card, and I embossed at the 1 inch, 2 inch, and 3 inch marks because in my brain I was thinking the top part for something decorative and then maybe this could be like a list of some sort and then this one I thought I would just show you on camera I use this tool instead of the um the bone folder that came with the scoreboard because I find that rips at the very end. I'm probably putting way too much pressure, but, and I like to use the skinnier end of this thing. So you can basically start wherever you want. I like to give myself a one inch for like a title or stickers or whatever. And then I feel for me, my writing size is fairly small, but I like the open space, so I tend to do somewhere between a half an inch and an inch. So there. And now I will put some stickers and other things, and uh, yeah. I'll decorate these two on camera with you. And just like in our in my last video, I will save you listening to my snuffling and coughing, and I will put on some music and you can watch me kind of finish up these cards.
and I'm back. So off camera, I did some stamping and whatnot. And this was a very well-loved stamp. And there were a few more <clears throat> that I used, mostly Citrus Twist. And if I was looking for a sentiment, I went into my phone, which is why I actually couldn't record the whole process. And I have my stamps um, categorized in Evernote. Um, I found that hack online a couple of years ago and I love it. So what happens is when you get a stamp, you type in all of the things that are on it. And you know, if it's animals or critters or whatnot. So you go into Evernote and you type all of these. And then when you go looking for a specific sentiment or saying, you just type it in to your search and it'll pop up with all the stamps that might have the word weak in it or creative or whatever. And it's amazing, um, especially if you have a pretty extensive stamp collection and you forget what you've got or you forget where you put it. Very useful tool. Anyway, that's it for me for today, folks. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.